Good afternoon and welcome back to Windy Hill Kennel. So we're down in the maternity ward, I guess you could call it today. Uh, we're down in the kennel in, with um, Judy's puppies. These are schnoodles. Judy is about a 22 pound female, um, give or take a pound, but I think right now she's about 22 pounds. And she's bred to Stryker and he's about 22 pounds. But um, this litter should range in the 22 to 28 pound range when they're finished. So that's just kind of give you a ballpark on size because I seem to get a lot of questions about that here lately. So I thought I'd just put it on their, on their video. I'm not going to do any new pictures until their eyes open. So we're still in a holding pattern for that. Um, if you are seeing pictures of a puppy on this video and you go to our website at windyhillkennel.com, and it's windy like the wind outside, or you can just type in Schnoodles Ohio, I'll pop right up. But um, the puppies that are sold are over on the sold page. Puppies that are still available are on her sale for sale page under Judy's name. And above each photo, it will tell you um, if the puppy is available or if it's sold pending arrival of deposit. It will also give you a microchip number, the last four numbers of the microchip, and it's gonna tell you the sex of the puppy. Um, so in today's video, you're going to see, um, uh, we're gonna do microchip numbers, we're gonna give you current weights on these guys, I'm gonna turn my scale on, and uh, we'll get going. So this one is, a, we call it a reverse Merle. Normally your Merles, if it's a party, or if it's a regular Merle, are the gray, like this puppy, with the spots. This one is black with the spots, so it's kind of a reverse brindle. We don't get these very often, but we have a couple a year, and they're really cool looking. They look really neat when they're older. Um, the black will stay black. Your blue spots will always be there. None of that will change. And let me go in here and grab the microchip number. The last four microchip numbers are 7315. And the reason we only give you the last four, this is about a 12 digit number. It's terrible. So you'll get the full number on your paperwork when you purchase a puppy and uh, on your microchip card. But for now, we just give everybody the last four microchips. So nice fat baby, and this one is a female. And she's got really pretty coloring. Eyes are still closed, ears are still sealed shut. They're just starting to get little flakes on them. I can see a flake of skin there at the top. So as their eyes open, so do the ears. So these flakes are telling me it's not going to be long until those eyeballs open either. It says, oh, you touched my mouth. I'm going to yawn. All right, so let's see what she weighs today. So she is one pound, three ounces right on the button. So she's doing really good. All right, so the next one in here, this is a black and white. This is a female. And I'm known for saying boy or girl, so I am checking every puppy because this one we the last ones we've had have always been a male this color, and I called this one a male, and I put it on the website as a male, but it's not, it's a girl. So this is another female. She's a black and white party. She's got really nice speckling. Her nose will be all black when she's about uh, probably 10 weeks old. And they're doing really, really good. Nice and fat. Let's see what you weigh today. And if you're the first time viewer of ours on YouTube, this is one pound 6.8. You can go to our website and see more photos, more information, uh, photos of our kennel. Um, so there's lots of good stuff on the website too if you're just seeing this on YouTube. And this one is a black and white. This is another female. This one has lots of color. She's got the fancy markings. She's a little bit fancier than this one, but it's really a personal preference. This one has the, a, a nice face. This one has a little different face. So this little girl is 7313. She's got a full white collar all the way around. She's got a little white snip up her forehead. And of course the parties are all white on their bellies. So she's got white pretty much all the way up her neck. If I can get it to look up, there we go. Do claws are done, tails are done. These guys have had their tails docked. That's all finished. And let me see what she weighs. I can't remember. I don't think I weighed her yet. She is one pound, two ounces. And you're coming out of my scale, aren't you? Yep, she's one pound, 2.2 .2 right on the button. All right. Oh, I know. You're going to squawk. You're going to squawk. 
All right, so let's start into these blue merls. There's a, hopefully we'll get them so they don't get mixed up and move around on me. This one is a male and he has boy plumbing. 7317 is his microchip. He's got some nice markings on his face. He's got the blue merle speckles on his back. He'll always be this color. He may lighten up just a little bit under here and he'll look like striker when he's done. So if you go to the bottom of the page on the website, you'll see pictures of dad. Dad is striker and mom is the poodle. She's a black and white. All right, let's see what you weigh today. This one's bigger. This one is one pound 6.2 and you need your toenails done. You've got really sharp little toenails, goodness. All right, let's put you down. All right, so this one, I'm glad this isn't smell-o-vision. I think we're going to have an accident here in a little bit from the smell of it. 7314 is microchip number. Another blue merle. Speckles on the back. It's a female. And she's got pretty much a carbon copy of this one that's squirming in between the other two. She's got the nice black spots. She's going to have white around her muzzle. And her silver may lighten up just a little bit, but her black will always have the speckles will always be there. Let's see what she weighs. She is one pound, 3.8 ounces as of today. All right, the last little blue merle in here. Okay, come up here, Tubbo. This one has lots of speckles. This one looks like a little Appaloosa. Um, this is a female. And her microchip number is 7310. She's, uh, oh, I'm gonna yawn. Oh my goodness. She's got white under her chest. Oh, I see an eye open. You have eyes open, yes you do. So if I can hold this little one up, she's got her eyes open. So this is the first little one to open her eyes. All right, let's see what you weigh. I think she's the smallest one out of the blue murals. Yep, she's one pound right on the money. Not even a titch over. So you've got your little peepers open. Yes, you do. I can see you. We need to trim the hair out of your eyes. I know you're going to yawn. All right. So the last one in here is a Blue Merle Party. Blue Merle Party means it's a white puppy with spots. It could be this is a party, this is a party. Oh, we got one more under here. There's two parties. Sorry. We got two more, two Blue Merle Parties in here. 7312 is the microchip number, and this is the female. You got peepers open? No, not even close. Not even close. So really nice markings. I love the blue-gray. Love the blue-gray. That'll always stay that color. White will stay white. Nose is gonna turn black. This one may take up to maybe 10 to 12 weeks, but should turn black. And all white belly on this puppy. I know you're looking for something to eat. We'll give you back to mom in a minute. One pound, 2.6 ounces as of today. All right, we got one left buried down here. All right, come here, sweetie. Are you got peepers open? No. This is the male. This is the party male. And these guys are cold, so that's why they're coming over here on me. Until they're a full two weeks old, they cannot control their body temperature. So they get pile on top of each other and they get near the warmest thing they can get, which is my leg at this point. Um, so we're not gonna keep them in here much longer. We'll get them back to mom. This guy's got some nice black dominant spots on the back. He's got really pretty markings on top of the head and he's got a lovely white slash up the face. Nose is turning black and it's got a full white collar all the way around. Also a big white belly. Yeah, you're a big white belly puppy, aren't you? And it is 7316 and this one is 15.8 ounces. So he's, I guess, the littlest one in here. Uh, we got two ounces difference between this one and the little one with the eyes open. So that'll give you an idea of everybody and how they're doing. I'm not even going to turn them around because they're all cold. So they're trying to, he's trying to bury in here. We'll put you on top of the pile and you'll have all the warmth. So um, they're going to get wormed here really quickly. Uh, we usually worm at two weeks old. So they get their first worming at two weeks. And I should be opening. So next week we'll have eyes open on everybody. We'll get some new pictures on. You can see facial expressions. One note about eyes when they open next week. Please don't call me and say, oh, that's, does that dog have blue eyes? Because I can tell you right now, they're all going to have blue eyes when they're babies. 
It's the way that the light flashes off of the pupil of the eye. So until they're five weeks old, I can't tell you for sure who's going to have blue and who's not. There may be blue eyes in this group. There may not. Um, it's really, really a toss-up. It's so hard to tell, but as babies, when I shoot them with a flash, they're all going to look like they have blue eyes. So just be patient. It's really unusual to get blue eyes. I love it when we do, but we don't get it very often. So I hope, you, I hope you've enjoyed their videos, and we will get you some new pictures next week, and we'll get you another video next week. Talk to you later.